Thanks for tuning into the Texas Scratch King channel. In this video, you will hear about André Giroux. Written by Frank Rocca. Frank begins with, André Giroux was a French Canadian who showed Americans that we did not have the monopoly on game-bred American bull terriers. He is known as and definitely was a top handler conditioner and matchmaker. I feel that his greatest talent was the ability to know which dogs to use for breeding and how to most effectively cross them. He was similar to one of his peers Maurice Carver, in the respect of producing some of the best American game dogs of his time. Although André lived in Montreal, Canada his entire life, André found good dogs where he could, was extremely selective on individuals, but he never became overly focused on one bloodline. André called or got rid of, what most dogmen would have used for a foundation. He owned some of the best, then defeated the rest. While I was still a novice, André taught me on how in order to be successful. In the dog game that I must learn to keep my heart in my wallet. He taught me on other ideologies regarding the dog game. During our many conversations about the breeding schooling. And training of American game dogs. And as to the importance of tending to a dog's mental well-being. Those bits of advice still carry the same impact. As I continued to learn as I go along. The reason that most of his lineage has not continued. As most had expected is that many people were mating a pair solely. Because the name Giroux appeared on the pedigree. Giroux was clever enough not to limit his focus on an ego tunnel, but instead on a realistic objective promoting worldwide success, amid one of the most enigmatic of sports, such as a practice that André almost never allowed himself to slip into. But one of his instincts did directly backfire on a large scale. The exception was when André stopped a brother to Brusso's champion Ben named Gunner Jr., which was sired by champion Gunner Register of Merit. And out of Giroux, Bonnie in a role while not fully matured but matched him anyway because of his punishing mouth. Champion Gunner Jr. won four and then was used for stud by many Canadian enthusiasts only to find that he was. Many Canadian enthusiasts only to find that he was throwing mostly hard-mouthed curs. Gunner Jr. was the dog Andre rolled against his recently purchased aging. Retired stud from Patrick. Grand Champion Hank. After 20 minutes with Jr. Hank was for sale again and was fortunately purchased by Captain America to be used with much success. Just as the Californians were enjoying with the Hank blood through champion Little Boots Register of Merit and Grand Champion Double Trouble. Captain America reached the pinnacle of his breeding program when a son of Hank's named Sir Douglas was put over his Alexis bitch. Resulting with Captain America's Grand Champion King Arthur that won his final outing as game as the game ones come by winning a war over PSK of NY's assassin at 41 pounds. Danny Tattoo Powell was a protege of Giroux. And he seemed to be the only man beside of Alan Waldman. Louis Vinegro. James Crenshaw and Camp who knew how to successfully continue to propagate of the Giroux lineage. By keeping a mixture of the old Trahan's champion rascal. And Carver's Black Widow blood through champion Gunner over the Tudor stock through either Maloney's Davis or Grand Champion Hank. Danny Powell purchased one of the best sons of Giroux, Trip. Named Champion Rocky that was a dog winning two matses in one night. Back to back, though the second was not counted as a legitimate win. The other ace tattoo acquired from Giroux, wife, Lee's, was champion our gal Sunday. One of the hardest bitches of modern times as she won all of her matches while never passing the 21-minute mark. Andre phoned me a few times over the years to fill me in on the progress of his dogs and to ask about mine. Once was when Andre unfolded a story about how the old bear dog which he purchased from Joe Orde came up missing. Andre told me that he found out who had stolen his old stud. And took a drive to see if what he had heard was true. After looking in the man's backyard he walked to the front door and politely knocked. As the man opened the door asking yeah. What do you want? Andre answered with three spent .38 caliber cartridges. He then calmly walked into the backyard again to get his dog. And went back home. Serious charges were pending an investigation. But Andre justly walked away from that mess without doing any time. Although André lived in the city, in an apartment building with virtually no yard to speak of, he never had a dog stolen from him game. In fact when people moved into his apartment building, he would farm out a pup to them as he had with his other tenants so they could raise it for him. Imagine if that man owned acreage. We may still be reading and talking of his dogs today. Thanks again for listening to the Texas Scratch King channel. Please don't forget to subscribe. Like and share the video and hit the notification icon. So you know when a new one drops. Until the next time my friends as we always say. Never submit to life and keep scratching every time.